Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, so let's jump on into this video, shall we? How about the world is chiming in of boxing and talking about Arthur better be if after that Marcus Brown domination, he should be next up for Canelo. Canelo should make this fight. Canelo can't beat Arthur better be if. What? Really? After that? You think Canelo can't beat Arthur? Hmm, okay. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and dive into the Marcus Brown versus Arthur better be it. Now, Marcus Brown early on displayed some good boxing, um, good cardio, but like I figured out <laughs> long before this fight was even going to uh, really you know materialized to come to fruition that Marcus Brown would either be broke down after the fourth round or <laughs> after the first round and you know look some fighters are just really outmatched in that era they're in Marcus Brown in another era another weight class he could probably be outstanding. But with the opposition that he has before him, mm, very, very serious uphill battle. So that's why you had the fight of this, you know. And then Marcus Brown been knocked down like three or four times before he even fought Pascal. So, you know, and Pascal, he dropped him you know numerous times before you know getting a headbutt from brown and i think that's something you know that they need to go over with marcus brown you know a lot of, i think three of his four of his last fights ended with headbutts and gashes to the person that won so that's something to be uh looked upon and talked about by his camp and his team um but moving on uh, Arthur better be if he showed you know what he normally does he's a come forward bang him shoot him slang him type boxer he's gonna throw punches and bunches um, for a light heavyweight you know to have that type of cardio and stamina stamina is very very um, powerful to have as a you know as a weapon so uh, big ups to him and kudos to his team for him working and having a very dominant performance, even with that gash in the head. But now to say that he's ready for Canelo, mm, honestly, I really think a Canelo could beat him, be honest with you. You know, just because Canelo has a lot of angles, a lot of experience, good defense very very good stamina so <laughs> look you know what i mean hey i'm a fan of the sport period so if i see a fighter doing what he's supposed to do or she's supposed to do then i am going to ride with him i'm gonna commend him i'm not gonna try and tear them down somehow you know by rumors, allegations, and things of that, everyone has something to be told that they don't want told. Everybody has been through something they regret. Everybody has made a mistake. So, you know, to sit and point the finger about that, I don't get into that part. I get more into how good are they in the ring? What do they bring to the table? What kind of techniques, arsenal do they have? What kind of experience and IQ do that boxer display? That's what I want to know. And with Canelo, IQ, and Arsenal is way better than an Arthur better be. On paper, in highlights, in history, you know, 
I mean, only thing we would need is the fight. Now, if Canelo would like to take that fight, I'm pretty sure he would. But right now, he's looking in the cruiserweight uh, direction. Who knows? He might wait and way up on this fight right here with Marcus Brown and Arthur. Who knows? It could materialize. I do know this for a fact. Canelo can call his own shots, y'all. If you notice what he's doing, he's lapping. <laughs> like uh, Kamar Usman said, he's lapping the boxing community. You know, he's running around from the zone to top rank to PBC and to who else next? Who knows? <laughs> you know, I tell you what, though, I commend Canelo for having a good IQ in and out of the ring, having a good team around him. And then staying true to his team. Him and Eddie Reynoso have been together from day one. So that's how you do things. You know what I mean? You don't, you know, jump ship and, and cheat your person out, you know, that you don't help get there or you cut somebody off once you get there and make it to the top. So I really like what Canelo is doing. And what people need to do is, is take a page um, out of his book. Take a page out of Mayweather's book. Take a page out of these guys that are successful and or making better lives a Pacquiao book. You know, take a page out of his book. Look at him, he's about to be president of the Philippines. So with that being said, you know, Canelo, man, hey, hats off to you, brother. Hats off to you. Keep doing your thizzle, keep doing your thing. Make every dollar, you can make every milli, you can take, do it. You know what I mean? Do it. You know, you set yourself up for that place. So, you know, it is what it is. Hey, don't hate, congratulate. I congratulate that man. Real talk. I celebrate Canelo Saul Alvarez. Real talk because, you know, he he did what he did. He made sacrifices every step of the way to get where he is. He set himself up in a position. And do you think everybody's going to like you after you get where you're supposed to get? No. Do you think everybody's going to agree with how you got there? No. Do you think they would have helped you if you needed to get there? No. So you don't worry about what they say. You let them say whatever they want to say because it does not hold no weight over what Canelo Alvarez does. Nobody, no boxer, no commentator, no reporter. That boy that said it, that man that set himself up for a tremendous life, you know. And I'm pretty sure if you ask him, man, it was some times he wanted to give up. It was some times he didn't think he could do it no more. It was some times before he became the successful Canelo Alvarez that he said, man, shh, man, uh, I don't know if I can keep doing it. But he did it. And now look at where he is. So saying that he can't beat this fighter and that fighter, if he chooses to fight Arthur, better be if, trust and believe in me. He knows dang well he can beat him. <laughs> you know Now is it gonna be an easy fight Nah it ain't gonna be no easy fight But I will tell you this much Canelo will make it look easier Than all the other fighters that fought Alter I can promise you that much So hey You can choose who you wanna choose I know a lot of people are gonna choose Alter better be here Cause they are waiting for a Canelo to lose But I tell you this If Canelo does ever fight him <laughs> trust and believe me he's gonna pick him a part i call canelo the european assassin real talk you know look at his record <laughs> look at his record so if and when he ever chooses to fight arthur better be if trust me if you a fan of arthur hey be very weary be very worthful be very afraid because that means he's coming to take it period so you sleep on canelo you want to oh he's short he's not all right sometimes shorter fighters have better advantages with them uppercuts look at javante tank davis if that ain't no evidence for you that short men fighting taller fighters is more dangerous for the taller fighters sometimes ask anthony joshua versus andy ruiz so hey 
you can sit and debate and you know try to pick apart what I'm talking about but styles make fights and everything that I said to you is actual fact it's not no uh, rumor it's not no guess all you got to do is look at the video look at the highlight reels and you can break down everything that I'm talking about and you can find it and it'll prove itself to you so anyway with that being said that's this video definitely hit the like button hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on primetime talk tv and I'm on social media everywhere definitely go to the website we got new stuff up there every week I right, talk peace